Hey guys. <laughs> All right, so basically, you know, y'all here. Y'all know what y'all here for. We're here for Takeoff, man. We have a Takeoff, man. He got 12 songs. You know, Takeoff is signed to um, QC. Uh, I think it's, of course, he signed to other labels, I think. I think QC is just a small label. But, me and Migos, Quavo's album, I think it wasn't like a terrible album, but it was just kind of like those ones that's like, uh, not for me. It just wasn't. I think it, it wasn't anything, it was bad, but like it wasn't like anything original or anything good. Like I could be like, all right, bet I like this. But Take Off is like a rapper rapper. I didn't like Last, what was it? Last Memory, I just felt like that could have been something better, but the album, the, the cover art is dope. Like I like this cover art. Uh, Take Off is the youngest one. He's the youngest one of them, so. Of the Migos, I think he's the nephew. I think Austin's the nephew as well. And I think Quavo is the uncle. Okay, okay. So Quavo is Takeoff's uncle while Offset and Quavo are cousins. Okay. I bet. So let's just get into it, man. First song is Martin. Let's get into it, bro. T minus 90 seconds. Hey, count, count, count. Depression water system. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited, man. Got the water, man. Always gotta have the water on deck, man. Nothing else. It's going with the theme, because the cover art is uh, him on a rocket, so it's going with the theme, but just right here. <laughs> cool it, bro. I'm excited. Boxing, heavyweight, smoking on cooking on cockpit. Cookie. My bitches brown like toxic. Bad. At the show they doing my spad. I got two on the kid. I'm not two on the whip with a two tone bitch. Oh. She win that static, not liking my name. I'm gonna flesh up a cafe of different sizes. Uh, yeah, yeah, nigga, that's a honey, not a no. Uh uh. I put a million in the chicken and thick. And then we're filling up the deposit. Deposit. Riding my smoking biscotti. Biscotti. And I got 10 different watches. I like that song, the introduction. You had bars in there. I like the the, the introduction. Uh, it's a little bit long, but I do like that song. Um, he has bars. Don't slip. I'm excited. She gonna wink. Well, hope you enjoyed the flight. I have a nice day. I like the introduction. Cover is dope. I'm liking what's going on. I like I like the flutes. Rappers are really like in tune with flutes. Like they love flutes. I want to DJ Darrell. Like, is this executive producer? It's Quavo. We can switch it, rap or serve a fee, yeah. All blues, beat it up black and blue. My dog got dog food. The nigga, I can't talk to you. TMZ flashing cameras, baby girl, I can't walk with you. Panoramic, panoramic screen. Gang strong, gang strong. Like Cuban link, like Cuban link. Clean cash, can't do what she did. I mean, the song was nice, but it definitely just felt like a Quavo song. It felt like Quavo just took over this whole song. This song sounds like this should have been on Quavo's latest album. Like this, it doesn't sound like, a, I mean, take off, hat, take off Hat Wonders, and that's cool. But it really just sounded like it was a Quavo song. But it was a good song. It's just the fact that this is Take Off's album. So the fact that you went on his album and you just took, took like, you just made your song on his song, on his album. But I mean, if y'all agree with me, please tell me in the comments because this sounds like a Quavo song. Next song is She Gon. Next song is None to Me. Name, the money, the cars, the sexual glory that goes with all of that, apparently. It was represented in this. Oh, this might be one of his rapping songs. But I'm a day one nigga that they coming with me. Trying to make a whip for gang so we all can eat. Drinking red. I'm thinking about the life for Rory, about to go and find one. Had a dream about a sky builder, then I woke up and went and bought one. The feeling ain't the same, can't explain it, being got one. And it's right there, guys. Can't look him in his face cause he got red eyes. Far from high, no head damage. When I found out he was scamming, serve for me. She hit the cup by acid, then she bought the oil on me. Uh, so. I like that song. I like what he's talking about in this song. Um, it's a mix. It's a mixture of a flex song and a mixture of this is what happens when you let the money take over your life. Like you could take you could take it as a flex song, but in the same breath, you see it as like this money ain't nothing to me because it's what does it do to you? See what it does to you as a person. Like he said, he had a brother, but he switched up 
for the money. And it's just, there ain't nothing to me. Um, I definitely respect the message. I love it. I'll be definitely keeping this song in my playlist. This is my favorite song so far. So, um, next song is Vacation. Um, vacation. Didn't really like that one as much. He had this one bar in there. It said, "I I be high like that dude with the afro, like that tall nigga with the afro." I think that's what he said. And I immediately thought of Snoop Dogg, but Snoop Dogg. I've never seen Snoop Dogg with an afro, but I looked up Snoop Dogg afro, and I mean. That bar could work if you're talking about Snoop Dogg, but I have a feeling like it's not talking about Snoop Dogg. Other than that, the beat was kind of, the beat was cool. I had to be a little bit, but it felt a little bit laggy. The beat felt a little bit laggy. Maybe that's just me, but yeah. Last Memory was a single, and I didn't really like that song too much when I first heard it as a single, but I'm gonna listen to it anyway. Actually, I'm not gonna listen to it. I remember, I remember the time. When we fell in love, I remember, remember the time. I remember, I remember, I remember, I remember. Oh, I remember, I can't forget it, can't forget it, can't forget it. Can't forget it. I remember Michael Kors, now that bro, that's perfect timing. I remember crushing all the dope that nigga Moe, stashing where we tied me. Remember nights on selling products to environment. Remember when we ran from 12 and ran a mile. Their signature of uh, um, Hook, they got. The, the repetitive little the repetitive hook it got a little boring um, but I do I do respect hearing about what's going on in his life and not just hearing about like hit song not um, hit songs and catchy songs but I do appreciate hearing like stuff that he actually went through as a kid or even like you know when he was younger but I I just really like the nostalgic feeling to the beat I like I mean to the to the, what he's saying his lyrics. I do really like that beat, but I feel like that beat could have went somewhere in a different direction. But I do like the the moral of his song. I respect it. But the, I remember chorus is kind of jog, like kind of like it makes me sleepy when I'm hearing it. But yeah, other than that, good song. It was okay, but I like the moral aspect. Next song is "Lend the Wave." No, lead the wave. Said Lynn. Yeah. Lead the way. Lead the way. Lead. I'm about to lead the way. Lead. I'm putting the map and so shit. Don't need to navigate you no know, ways, nigga. No. I'm confused. I'm on snooze. I'm like, what the fuck is up? I need to bear my nigga. We up. I'm, hey, how? Watch out, I lead the way. Lead. Don't fuck with them niggas. Them boys be nameless. Oh. I'm talking about y'all. Don't fuck with the gang. Cause nigga, we dangerous. I love how Waze literally is such a huge app now. They're getting shouted out <laughs> in rap songs. This man said, I don't need no navigation or the waves, nigga. Huh? Literally, I just had waves. Like, what? My dad was off. Um, not my dad. I remember my friend was like, uh, my, my friend's mom told him told him about Waze. And he told, like, basically, I got it because he got it. And then later, my dad told me about it like two weeks, three weeks later. And now they're getting shouted out. And, oh, this is a year now, a year ago, but. Waze is such a huge app, and it came out of nowhere, and I think it's hilarious. I just think it's hilarious. Um, the song was, mm, the song was like, wasn't the best song. Um, I do like the message, lead the way. Like I, I like that, I like that a lot. Um, the hardest bar on this song was that lucky bar. He said, got so much gold on me, calling me lucky. I don't even gotta tell you what that means. That's a bar, man. I like those bars when it's not like, I got so much water, they call me they call me the Sunny. I got so much ice on me like I'm Ice Man. Not a rapper. Leprechauns, they're called leprechauns. The uh, next song is Casper. If you don't make one reference to Casper the Ghost, we're going to zoom in at you. Mafia. Told you they love them flutes, bro. Hey, I wanna look at the stars today. Ghost. I'ma go ride the rave. Ghost. I'ma 
ghost ride the ray. I'm a ghost ride the ray. Oh, that's why it's called Casper. I'm a ghost ride the ray. I get it. I can beat you running backwards. The way I ghost ride your face. Have it my way. Have it. She let me nut on the face. Hey, thanks. Stay in your place. Stay in the day. Ghost. I'm a ghost ride the ray. Ghost. I'm gonna go ride the rave, ghost. I'm gonna go ride the rave. Come on, I'll say the face. And give her the car, but I give her 30k so she can slide and slay. I'm gonna go ride the rave. I wanna look at the star today. So there was this one day I was literally like just go I decided not to go to class. I mean I decided to go to class and I was like, this is like the day I like could have skipped class, but I decided not to. So these people came up to me and they was like, hey yo, can you like help me record this like 20 minute video for me? Ended up turning to be like two minutes, but you know, it was whatever. Um, sitting there recording for them, sitting there editing for them for two minutes, but that was fine. I just loved the experience. Tell me why. They was like, yeah, there's gonna be a wraith there. And I was like, huh? A wraith, huh? So I'm sitting there recording and that wraith was beautiful, man. I'm telling you, um, it was dope, man. Dope experience. So I'm gonna be keeping that song because that's tough made me think of that uh that video that i made but that song was cool i like the ghost rider whip i like the beat it was very melodic i feel like take off wrote the beat very well he did a good job he he did a good job that don't that was one of my, that was one of my favorite songs next song is somnia i low-key think i have insomnia yeah i told y'all they love these flutes Count up my money and give me them blues. Count it up. Watch me pipe on you. Pipe for days. I've been up, I can't sleep, what's wrong? Break a set, my lens on her tongue. I made it in my mama brown. Put the whole team on the whole team. Break. Better go eight, babe. Hey. Hundred bricks coming on crazy. Crazy. I'm a oh, 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 oh. Oh, 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 oh. I like the direction that he was going with that song until it started getting a little bit boring. It's funny because this song is called Insomnia and it started giving me. Really sleepy. I was getting really sleepy listening to this song. I do like the direction that he was going with it. I do like the idea. I feel like the idea is there. It just wasn't. It wasn't the one. Nah. Next song is Infu Infatuation. I used to guarantee some about diamonds. I want all y'all to know is that I'm so thrown off right now. Who the hell is this? Who the hell is this? One day I'm dead, bro. Now I gotta call her. Keeping in the fur, got the billy, we can smoke. We out of shape. Smoking while I cut the plate. I'm thinking about the better. Thinking about when I hit an opposition, I got aim. Little love, we pulling up and watch the rolls all night. Not gonna hold you, I didn't like it at first, but the more it played on, the more it started getting a little catchy to me. I I gotta take my comment back saying I bet it's about diamonds and and money, but it, it was I was wrong. Uh, he's talking. He's talking about a girl, and how much he missed her. He had a tat. He had a tattoo on him. I like that song. Um, I like this. I like this song because it just it threw me off. It's different. Huh? Am I interrupting something? Yeah, I'm in the middle of my video. Oh my god! I'm sorry. Okay, why did you answer? Other than that, that song was really nice. I feel like that was one of my favorite songs. I do like that song. Next song is Soul Plane. that beat man cassie is jay and that's that beat uh so that song was cool but the only thing, the, the, the only thing with me is like the, the chorus was tough i like the chorus i like how like in the middle of the chorus the beat comes in harder um, but it's just the song is it's it's too long. It's three minutes long, and it's just it it bores me out. Um, but yeah, that song I won't I won't I won't keep that song. But it's it's a nice song. I do like the song. It's just boring. So like if I'm in the car, nah. But it's good for like a kickback kickback I guess. But like me like listening in the car, I like to be entertained the whole entire time and be able to sing with that. But that just wasn't that wasn't for me. The chorus was tough, but the song was way too long. So Bruce Wayne, it's funny about Bruce Wayne. I just got done watching Gotham on Netflix. If you're not watching Gotham, you start, you should watch Gotham. It's on Netflix. And I'm pretty sure it's on Hulu. 
It's four seasons long, and they usually have 22 episodes, so you should start watching Gotham. It's really nice, and it's crazy. Like, they just kick. Bruce Wayne. Uh -huh. So there you have it. That's the last rocket. Not gonna lie, I am surprised and not surprised at the same time. Um, I really do like the nostalgic songs that he had, like I Remember and None To Me. I do like those songs. Um, it felt like I actually got a takeoff project. I felt like I got a takeoff project. The only feature he had was Quavo. If my, uh, yeah, I don't think he didn't have anyone else. Surprised he didn't have Offset. I was waiting for Offset to come in. Or, or I think he was at one point in the verse, but I'm not sure. So I'm going to say he just had Quavo. Um, Quavo sucks, man. He is a king of hooks, real talk. Even though I did feel like that was a Travis hook, I felt like I got a huge Travis vibe, Travis vibe from his hook. And that's, that song really just felt like it was a, a Quavo song. Like I said, very surprised with Takeoff. Like I know people say he's the best Takeoff, best Migo. Um, comparing to the, the two tapes, with Honcho and The Last Rocket, The Last Rocket definitely beats Honcho. To all you, Quavo stands, I'm sorry, take off head. He did it. He did it. He uh, finessed Quavo. My favorite song, honestly, it, it has to be Infatuation. The hook is catchy, and I just love what Takeoff was talking about. It's something that I can play in the car and sing to and enjoy myself to and just talk to my girlfriend about or like be my girlfriend with it. It's just nice. It's a nice song. I do like that song a lot. My favorite song is I Can't Pick Right Now. I think my favorite song is Infatuation and None To Me. Those two songs are my favorite songs. Um, Quit, Takeoff definitely did this. I felt like Takeoff was just being him. I feel like he was doing what he wanted to do and, and wasn't like, oh, you have to do this, you gotta do that, you have to do that. It was, it was a Takeoff project where he didn't reach for anything, he didn't do anything that he didn't feel comfortable with. It felt like I was getting Takeoff. It felt like I was getting Takeoff. Um, some, t some parts in the songs that I felt like he was trying to fit too many syllables, too many words in the, in the, in the, in the, um, in the line. But other than that, I really do like the project. Um, it wasn't anything out of this world where I'm like blown away, but it definitely is a good project. And I, I feel like this project is like, I definitely give this like a 7.5, 8 out of 10 rating. I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. I give this 8 out of 10. I really hope Offset beats Takeoff, because I love Offset. I know everyone loves Takeoff, but me, I love Offset. So, all right, y'all. Give me a thumbs up if you think I did get a good job on the view. Get a thumbs down if you want to get punched to the face. If you're new, I appreciate you. Subscribe. Turn the notifications on. All right, y'all. Peace.